Hello everybody, Prime Raptor, Prime Raptor today. We're going to review on the NECA Blade Runner 2049 Officer K figure. Now, I know, I've been gone for a long time, and it's just because school got in right after I filmed that collection video, and well, it's been pretty hard on me. So, I've put off videos for a while, but I just recently went to the City Walk at Universal Studios Hollywood, and I, there happened to be a comic store there, and I walked in there, and I saw this guy on the peg, and I said, I have to pick him up and review him, and it is one in the morning right now, and I'm filming this review, and I'm super tired, but I'm going to squeeze out as much enthusiasm as I can to get this review to you guys, but anyway, so yeah, this figure is really, really good. I actually didn't expect him to be that good, and I really like his, the way, it, the likeness to Ryan Gosling, but I'll get into that in Sculpt. And I really didn't expect I would actually like it so much. But anyway, that's besides the point. This figure's great. Let's get into what makes him so great. Let's get into his accessories. So the only accessory you get is his gun. And it is a very, very nice gun. Or pistol. And I this might be Deckard's pistol from the first film. But I don't think it is because it's got the second trigger. So, yeah. I don't think it's Deckard's pistol from the first film because... I've not seen Blade Runner 2049 in, as of the making of this video, but I have seen the trailers, and I do know that Officer K is a new Blade Runner. And if you haven't seen the movie Blade Runner, Blade Runners are basically people who kill artificial persons called replicants. But, anyway, I think this looks very, very similar to Deckard's gun from the original film, because I've seen pictures of the prop. But overall, I think this is just a whole new weapon that's very, very similar. But anyway, you can see it's actually got some nice little grooves in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit hard to see. And you got some very, very light gray with some black stripes running through it. Same on the other side. Right there. On the top there. Some very, very nice detail. Very nice. There's this little silver bit back here. Got the little grooves in the handle where Officer Cable hold it. The trigger looks very nice, and there's a tiny little red dot painted there. You can see that. Very, very nice. And it just fits into his trigger finger hand very easily. Just slip that in there. You kind of have to slip it between his thing his fingers. Right like that. You can stick his finger in the trigger. And there you go. Fits into his hand just fine. Take that out. And that's about it for his pistol. So for Sculpt, I think this figure has a fairly good likeness to Ryan Gosling. Now, in comparison to the Deckard figure, it is nowhere near as good as the Deckard figure. The Deckard figure has an amazing likeness to Harrison Ford. Oh, this one has a slightly good, you know, passable resemblance to Ryan Gosling. And I think... That is good enough for me. You can see, it's very nice. His eyes are very well painted. His eyebrows are also very well painted. His hair is a nice kind of dry brush brown. Got a little bit lighter browns mixed in there, which I think looks very nice. His beard also looks very nice. There's double. Looks very good. Now, there are two kinds of neck joints, and at least when it comes to the neck. There's the one that's where it's just the neck and the head are connected, and then it you can pop it in it. There's a ball joint at the base, and then there is the one where there is no ball joint at the base, but there's a ball joint at the end where the head connects to the neck. And I initially thought from pictures that this one was going to be like the head was connected to the neck like most of the terminator figures if you have any of those you'll know that they have that same system at least the ultimate terminator figures but to my surprise it's actually a ball joint right there but i'll get into that in articulation head is overall very nice i feel like it has a passing resemblance to ryan gosling and i think that's good enough for me but for the jacket it is really really nice it's all Kind of weathered and dirty. Looks great. Looks like a police officer's jacket. Or just like somebody who would be wandering the streets of a 2049 city. and Or city in 2049. I'm not sure where 
Blade Runner actually takes place. I'm gonna have to watch the movie again. It's been a while since I watched it. But you can see it's very nice. It's a nice rubbery plastic. It's got some nice detail on this little fur a bit. It looks very good. You can see it's kind of very asymmetrical. This part's coming out more than this part. See the little zipper there, which I think looks very nice. Nice browns and blacks mixed in there. The shirt is like very, very nice looking. See, it looks very good. There's even still detail in the on the inside of the jacket. Which I think looks very nice. And I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure what it says. I don't even know if it says anything or it's just, you know, garbled nonsense. And it could be city speak in written form. If you've seen the original film, Deckard describes a language that's a combination between German, Spanish, Japanese, and Chinese, I think is what he said. And that could be this in in um, writing, but I'm not sure. I'm just assuming it's garbled nonsense because I cannot read it. And I want to say mine's like broken, but I think this is just normal. The jacket splits down at the end here, and you can see he's got some nice, like, wrinkles and cracks running through it. Not really cracks, but you can see what I mean. It's like weird little grooves through it. It's very, very nice. The hands look very nice. You got some nice like muscles in there. Look very good. Nice detail on the fingernails. More of the nice wrinkly detail running throughout. The pants are just a nice brown. Very good. The shoes look very nice. They're a nice kind of black and brown with a lot of dirt on them. And got nice underneath, which looks very, very good. I actually really, really like this. It's got some nice detail. Got the peg holes for a neck stand. And that's about it for sculpts on Officer K. So for articulation, he's got a bald right at the head. The arm can go out that far. Go 360. He's got what I call the Ash versus the Evil Dead um, joint style, where it's kind of a weird like sleeve. And I honestly think this joint looks weird, but it's very good for articulation. Swivel here. Swivel here, swivel at the wrist, hinge at the wrist. I think it is a ball joint at the waist, but I'm not quite sure. Leg goes out that far. You could probably stretch it farther if you wanted to, like that. Jacket is rubber, so it does not hinder it. Leg goes out that far. Fairly far, limited by the rubber crotch piece, and not so much by the jacket. Bend at the knee. So a swivel at the knee and a ball joint at the foot. And that is about it for articulation on Officer K. So overall, I recommend you get this guy. If you're a fan of the original film, I think you'll like him. He gets the whole Blade Runner, you know, futuristic, gray, futuristic vibe to him. And they also have a Deckard, but again, I do not have that. But hopefully I will get it for my birthday because my birthday is actually this Friday and I will do a video on my birthday. And sorry if I seem a bit groggy or tired in this video. As I said, I'm filming this at 1 in the morning and I'm very, very tired. And I just had to get this review out to you guys because I know you guys have been begging for more content. And we're not really. I just want to, you know, give you guys more content because you guys are great and you keep leaving comments. And I just love you guys. You're the best. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I, let me know what you think of my new thumbnails where I'm actually doing Prisma pictures. If you don't know what Prisma is, it is an app where you can turn photos into art. And just let me know what you think of that. And please subscribe, like, comment. Oops. As I was saying, please subscribe, like, comment. And a bye bye